I hope he doesn't mind this, but Andy Murray just messaged me. I don't know if I've articulated that well, but you're an absolute rock star and inspiration. Thanks for everything that you've done. That kills me. Like, it makes me want to cry. <laughs> Special. Like, it's just, you're part of it. It's just, part, just a part of it. That's better than winning a tennis tournament. There's a legend of the sport getting around wheelchair tennis. You know? If it's good enough for someone like that, it's good enough for everyone. Dylan Alcott's retirement in 2022 at his home tournament in Melbourne came while at the top of his game. A popular figure on the tennis tour, he secured 23 Grand Slam titles across both singles and doubles, with plenty more besides. Absolutely outstanding. Knowing where the hole in the court is, he finds it. The world number one, Dylan Alcott is the Paralympic champion in Rio. I used to love having a disability up until I was about 12, 13 years old, and that's when I really started to struggle because I got pretty, you know, bullied extensively and got called a cripple and a bunch of other words. For about two years, I sat at home, embarrassed to leave the house because I wasn't proud of who I was, and I wish I spoke to anybody about it. I've been in a wheelchair my whole life. I was born with a tumour wrapped around my spinal cord that was cut out when I was only a couple of days old. I've never known anything different. My parents were both 29 when I was born, and they already had another son, and now a disabled son. I'm so lucky that they were incredibly supportive of me and never treated me any differently. I think when I started realising that I was different was when I really started to struggle. A friend of mine was having a house party and, as usual, I didn't get invited. So my brother told me just to invite myself. So I turned up and my mate had this shocked look on his face. I thought, Dylan, you idiot, you know, why did you come? And what I found was my mates didn't hate me because I was different. They were just actually embarrassed to talk about my disability with me. They didn't know if I needed a carer, could get in their house, no idea. As soon as I started talking about my disability and showed them that I could come, they were comfortable with it. Oh. Anxiety is caused from a lot of different things. I think often they're internal, especially for me, you know, hating who the person that I was when I was growing up was a big source of my anxiety. The thing to do is to talk about them. It's the biggest advice that I can give, is talk about what's going on, positive or negative. I used to have all these voices in my head. As soon as I cleared them out, there was a real turning point to get more self-confidence in what I believed in to be able to perform my best when I needed it. Sometimes it's natural to, to have negative thoughts about the person that you are, but the biggest thing that I learned is as soon as I started backing myself and being proud of the person that I am is exactly the time that my world changed. <laughs> my advice to everybody else is try and change that mindset, get in a positive frame of mind to get out there and be the best version of you.